Hello, my name is Eric Wu. For my first monologue, I'll be playing an Asian American from the play Good Morning, America. Grandpa used to say, there are no bad oranges in California. Of course, he'd say that to you when trying to sell you a crate full of oranges. We have all the oranges, blood oranges, Valencias, Clementines. You don't want, there's no such thing as too much vitamin C. You don't want to get scurvy, do you? <laughs> scurvy. That was my grandfather's favorite word. He'd always chuckle when he said it. Scurvy. <laughs> He said it was a funny word for something so horrific as bleeding from under the skin, bleeding from your gums. But scurvy ceased to be a, a barrel of laughs after the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. My grandparents were deemed persons of extreme security risks, so they were sent off to internment camps. They lost their citrus farm, they lost their sense of humor, their ability of, to speak. And so when the second plane hit the towers, I grabbed an address book and a map. I panicked. Where am I going to go if the terrorists turn out to be Asians? Who do I know will have the courage to stand up against illegal, immoral seizures? Do I even know anyone like that? I don't know. So I pray to God, God, please, please, please. Please don't let any of the terrorists be Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Filipino, Vietnamese, Polynesian, or anyone who even looks a little bit like me. Do I feel guilty that I jumped for joy when I found out the terrorists were Muslim? You betcha. In an ideal world, it wouldn't matter. In the ideal world, we're all American. In the ideal world, it's innocent until proven guilty. In the ideal world, there are no bad oranges in California. But Grandpa was right about scurvy killing you. It was, it's also known as worthless, mean, and contemptible. My grandfather died because of a mean, worthless contempt. My second monologue is from the play The Trouble with Paris by Paul D'Andrea. I'll be playing the role Godot. Why would she do that to you? Just up and kiss you like that out of nowhere. I have a birthmark over my right shoulder blade. Some say it enhances my male beauty. All I know is I've had plenty of trouble with women bothering me. Big, good-looking women. It's been this way ever since I had hair on my upper lip. The other day, I was carrying a wand of pussy willows through the airport. You would not believe how women stared at me. And just before I boarded, one woman said she couldn't take it, reached out, and touched the pussy willows. You know what I said? I said, please, I know. Believe me, I know how it is. But please don't touch my pussy willows. She stopped touching and just peeked a little. Uh, guilty. Everyone's guilty. I like guilt. I dislike children. I loathe Europe. And I particularly hate Paris. I would like nothing more than to get her entire population behind bars. I'm an intellectual. I started out as a butcher's boy. One day I wandered onto the campus with my tie stuck in a bike chain. I opened a door looking for help and accidentally wandered into a lecture hall. I emerged four years later the greatest intellect of Europe. I know what I want. I dislike beauty, the moon, and the milkweed sail. I love hunting men. And women, too. They're very guilty, too. Do women usually walk up and kiss you like that? Wandering into that lecture hall was a mistake. And running into you was a mistake. I'm enjoying this. Thank you.